Monday, we will celebrate Memorial Day across our great nation. It is right and just that we remember those brave men and women who have paid the ultimate sacrifice defending our right to live in this great country. At this time, I ask our graduates and guests to rise and remain standing as we welcome to the risers our choir seniors who will sing the national anthem. <clears throat> Following the anthem, please remain standing while our choir students sing our state song, My Old Kentucky Home.
Thank you. You may be seated. Good afternoon, I'm Abby Quinn, and I was fortunate to serve as the student board representative for Collins High School this year. On this stage today are those board members that I had the privilege of serving alongside who dedicate so much of their lives in service to our school district. They are school board chairperson, Ms. Sonia Blackburn, <laughs> vice chair, Mr. Alan Phillips, and board members, Mr. Andrew Klein, Mrs. Joanna Frills, and Ms. Brenda Jackson. <laughs> Seated with them is the leader of Shelby County Public Schools, our superintendent, Dr. Sally Sugg, and Dr. Adam Hicks, deputy superintendent. <clears throat> Fellow seniors, as we prepare to walk across the stage as graduates of Martha Lane Collins High School, it is, important, it is important that we remember that none of us made this journey alone. We had great teachers and important school support staff like bus drivers, food service workers, custodians, coaches, office staff, and school nurses. We had each other. We had our family and close friends, many of whom are celebrating with us right now. Class of 23, please join me in celebrating those individuals who helped us to get where we are today. Also seated on the stage are members of the Martha Lane Collins High School Administrative Team. This group of dedicated individuals collaborates to provide guidance and leadership to our school. They are Principal, Mr. Nate Jebson. <laughs> Assistant Principals, Mrs. Natalie Brinley, Mr. Clay Good, and Mrs. Madeline Starrett. And Counselors, Mr. Christopher Collins, Mrs. Melissa Midkiff, and Mr. Sean Rayleigh. Thank you. Good afternoon. I am Michaela Wilson, the senior class vice president. The senior class of 2023 would like to thank the teachers of Martha Lane Collins for ensuring their growth, both socially and intellectually over the past four years. Given the many teachers who have worked tirelessly to prepare them for life after high school, selecting one per recipient for the Silver Sword Award was challenging. The teacher chosen to receive this award have had an extraordinary impact on lives and hearts of the class of 2023. The Silver Sword Award is a great honor because it is a student-selected award. The faculty, the faculty member who received this award is given a commemorative plaque and enters the company of the past Silver Sword Award recipients. This, the class of 2023 has selected Ms. Christina Hudson as this year's winner. Thank you guys so much. I'm so honored that you chose me to be your 2023 Silver Sword. To my first period class, you all had great attitudes, even first thing in the morning. I enjoyed you all immensely. Gracias por ser como eres. To my fourth period class, you taught me how to be patient. Boys, go to class in college. You know who I'm talking to. What a blast this class was. To my fifth period class, you were the calm point of my day. You all were such great listeners and I loved having you. To my sixth period class, you introduced me to new books and planned some awesome parties. 
And even if you weren't in any of my classes and I got to meet you, I'm so glad that I did. Shout out to my big picture seniors who will always hold a special place in my heart. I'm so glad I had you with me this year. With that being said, every senior that I met this year has made a profound impact on me. I will miss all of you dearly, and I am so very proud of everything that you have accomplished and everything that you will continue to accomplish in your future endeavors. Please stay in touch, stay safe, stay out of trouble, and I'm here if you ever need me. Best of luck, love you all, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hudson. This particular class has dealt with a significant amount of loss and heartache in their years. Prior to entering high school, many of you lost a beloved classmate and friend in Olivia. Last year, we lost a teacher in Mr. C. Several among you have lost a parent, sibling, or other close relative. It's been hard. And I've been so impressed with how this group and their loved ones have supported one another through tragedies and moved forward. I ask at this time that we have a moment of silence to honor those that have loved and supported you, but whose lives were cut short. Thank you. <clears throat> we will begin our series of student speeches this afternoon with opening remarks from senior class president, Mr. Roberto Avila. To begin today, I would like to say a huge thank you to our principal, Mr. Jepson, assistant principals, Mr. Good, Mrs. Brindley, and Mrs. Starrett, and the faculty of Collins High School who have made this day possible. I am honored, grateful, indebted, and scared to death to be standing in front of everyone here today. Inevitably, while preparing for an important day such as today, there comes reflection. Reflection amongst ourselves, whether that be our strengths or imperfections. Reflecting upon the mark we'd be leaving as we graduate today. As we graduate today and leap one step closer to what others would call freedom. Reflecting upon how we, as a class, have made it through those excruciating finals, midterms, and ACT testings. Reflecting upon Collins High School and thinking about those moments where we were filled with so much euphoria, it felt like we could take over the world. When I think about Collins, I think about our football games and cheering on our boys as we suffocated on pounds of baby powder. I think about our pep rallies and how we watched grown men doing bicycle tricks as they shouted no to bullying. I think about Powder Puff and gaining the class victory against our juniors as the boys attempted to cheer for our girls but undoubtedly came to bits. I think about the crazy and disorganized game of senior assassins that had complications coming from all directions, left to right. Sorry about that. But most of all, I think about the remarkable people I got the chance to meet, connect, and grow with. Together, we stand and graduate during such a tumultuous period, with changes happening to the outside world almost daily, just as much as we change with it. We have grown, not just academically, but as individuals who have learned the power of perseverance, resilience, and the importance of embracing failure as a stepping stone to success. Today, we not only celebrate our accomplishments over the last four years, but also recognize our families, friends, teachers, and loved ones who have been there supporting us from the beginning. Together, we walk on the stage for every person who brought us to this point. We walk on the stage for every bond we made through those school hallways, we walk on the stage for a younger selves who strive throughout those 12 to 13 years working hard to get to this moment. And we walk on the stage for Olivia Craig, a bright young girl who was loved by many and lifted many others. I never got the opportunity to meet Olivia myself, but I was very fortunate enough to hear the many beautiful stories about her and her spirit. As kids, we always thought about the day our graduation would come how the year 2023 felt like thousands of years of ahead. 
Now, as we stand here today, we realize just how quickly time has slipped by. All those days of getting to see the familiar faces of your friends in one building have come to an end. Riding in the car with all of your friends as you guys blast music as the sun sets has come to an end. Staying up late while gossiping and catching up with your friends on the latest has also come to an end. Our beautiful school rivalry against Shelby County High School has come to an end. The scary news is you're on your own now. But the cool news is you're on your own now. My advice to you, the class of 2023, is to always remember this feeling, hold on to the moments, cherish your friends and loved ones, be the change we are destined to be, and to always breathe in, breathe through, breathe deep, and breathe out. Amidst all the uncertainty, and as we transition out of one era into another, there's no class I'd rather be than the class of 2023. Congratulations, we did it. Good afternoon. I am Clay Good, Assistant Principal, and we will now make a special recognition for those students who joined the prestigious ACT 30 Plus Club for receiving a score of 30 or higher on the ACT College Entrance Exam. Those students earning this distinction are wearing a medal today in recognition of this outstanding achievement. I ask those students, please stand to be recognized. You may be seated. Our next group of seniors we wish to commend are graduating with the Latin title cum laude. These students have earned a cumulative GPA of at least 3.5 and are wearing a medal today in recognition of this outstanding achievement. I ask those students, please stand to be recognized. You may be seated. Next, we will honor those individuals who have earned the title of magna cum laude, indicating a GPA of at least a 3.8 with a minimum of two college level advanced placement courses or two dual credit courses along with a composite ACT score of 24 or higher. Those students are wearing a special medal in recognition of this achievement. I ask these outstanding, outstanding students, please stand to be recognized. You may be seated. The highest academic honor a student can achieve at Collins requires a student to attain a GPA of 4.1 or higher while taking at least four college level advanced placement courses or dual credit courses and earning an ACT score of 26 or higher. These students have earned the title of summa cum laude. They are wearing a medal given in recognition of this remarkable achievement. I ask these outstanding scholars, please stand and be recognized. You may be seated. Good afternoon. I am Madeline Starrett, Assistant Principal. Martha Lane Collins High School has a robust advanced placement program giving students the opportunity to take a variety of year-long AP courses in preparation for the subject's AP test. Students who pass these tests earn college credit, 
Collins is one of only 21 schools in Kentucky who is able, excuse me, that is able to award the AP Capstone Diploma, which is granted to students who are in th earn scores of three or higher in AP Seminar, AP Research, and on four additional AP exams. This year's class has five AP Capstone Diploma candidates. Would Catlin Konzelman, Amelia Fisher, Jackson Lily Jasper, Ellen Swinson, and Zachary Wadsworth please stand to be recognized. You may be seated. At Collins, we are proud of our AP course offerings. Each year, our school, each year at our school, hundreds of students attempt rigorous college level classes in a variety of subjects with the hope of passing an exam lasting over three hours. If you have earned college credit in passing an AP test, please stand and be recognized. You may be seated. Our students also have the opportunity to take college level courses through our partnership with Jefferson Community and Technical College. Our students take JCTC courses at the Shelby campus at Collins or virtually. Because of a generous program sponsored by the college and our school board, our students are able to take these classes that count as dual credit for both college college and high school for free. Because of this opportunity, the total savings to our students and families is over millions of dollars. If you have earned dual credit through JCTC or through your pathway, please stand and be recognized now. You may be seated. One of our students was able to earn an associate's degree by earning over 60 hours of college credit while still in high school. Would Nathan Van Meter please stand to be recognized for this remarkable achievement? You may be seated. Good afternoon, I am Natalie Brindley, Assistant Principal. Every year, high schools across the country recognize the top students in the class with the opportunity to speak at their graduation. We continue that tradition today. Our next student speech will be given by the Martha Lane Collins High School salutatorian of the class of 2023. This young woman represents the dedication persistence and excellence that runs throughout this graduating class. Please join me in recognizing Ms. Lily Jasper. everyone, I'm Lily. <laughs> if any of you have known me since we were young, you may remember a different version of me. You may remember the try-hard girl, it's fine, I know it, um, who had her whole future planned out and dreamed about the day she would graduate. While the trials and tribulations of a pandemic, growing up, and becoming my own person have changed my overall outlook on life, I was still certain that if this moment ever came, I would know exactly what I wanted to say. I would have the perfect speech to send you all off into our futures, telling you how perfect high school was and how perfect our lives will be. But as we all know, 
high school has been far from perfect. From a global pandemic to an insurrection to civil rights movements to a historic presidential election, the class of 2023 has seen so much within our four, technically five years at Martha Lane Collins High School. So it is safe to say that the high school dream that little Lily had planned out didn't play itself out the way we all thought it would. However, looking out at all of you now and seeing how far we've come despite the adversity we've faced in our lives, I am beyond glad that high school has not been perfect. Interestingly, I've learned so much about who I am by taking a step back from myself this year and focusing on the people around me and the impact that I want to have. I found that I don't have everything figured out. I have no clue who I'm going to be this fall, let alone in five years, and that is okay. Removing the pressure on myself to join everything, do everything, be everything, has me more prepared for this next chapter of my life than if I planned it out minute by minute. And so, from my own experience learning this lesson, I want to relay to all of you that it is okay not to know. It is okay to not be perfect, and it is okay to not be sure who you are. This may be the end of an era, but it is the start of an age where you have so much life left ahead of you to figure out who you are and who you want to be. So for now, I deeply implore you to relish in this moment here today at Broadbent Arena in Louisville, Kentucky, in the United States of America, and be proud of the actions that have brought you here today to this momentous milestone. Our futures will be bright, I am sure of that, because I have seen the resilience in each one of the people I am looking out upon now. But that future is a discussion for another day. For today, be present and proud and completely okay with who you are right now. Congratulations, class of 2023, you made it. The title of valedictorian is a coveted designation awarded to the student with the highest academic rank in the graduating class. Earning this title at Martha Lane Collins High School requires a consistent demonstration of intellectual talent, unparalleled commitment to academic success, and a competitive greatness. Today's final student speech will be from Martha Lane Collins High School's Class of 2023 valedictorian, Ms. Veronica Hamilton. Thank you, Ms. Brindley, for the introduction. Good afternoon, family, friends, faculty and staff, and of course, the class of 2023. I am honored to have the opportunity to stand before you all. I spent a lot of time trying to decide what I wanted to talk about today. What could I possibly say in front of so many people that would be worthwhile? This speech is what I finally settled on, and I know that graduation is long enough, so I promise to keep this short and simple. I want everyone in the room to take a look around. Look at who you're sitting by. Look at the building we are in and just take it all in. If anyone in the room is like me, they wanted to grow up their entire childhood. It felt like the day that I would be considered a big kid couldn't be here soon enough. But then I blinked, and all of a sudden, I, along with you, the class of 2023, woke up this morning and put on my cap and gown. We grew up. We all blinked, and we were about to walk across this stage and receive our diplomas. Graduating is something specific that I've been looking forward to for forever the day we all move on to the next stages of our lives, the day we are no longer little kids. I'm not exactly sure what I thought was so exciting about getting older, because being older hasn't been as cool as my little kid self thought it would be. It hasn't come with all this new amazing knowledge, and I stand up here today still not knowing a lot of things. However, there is one thing that I think that I know. Don't blink and miss something. I've spent a lot of my life living anywhere except in the present, worrying about saying the right thing or making the right choices, dwelling on the past, or most of all, I have always been caught up in what comes next, whether it's becoming a big kid or becoming a college student. It's like my eyes have been glued to what happens next to the point where I feel like I've missed a lot. 
But I've learned to take my eyes off of what happens next and set them to what's happening right now. I realize that right now is all you really have. It is crucial to be present in the moment and to take it all in while you can. I wanna talk about a person who lived her life the way that I have described. Her name is Olivia. As Mr. Jepson and Roberto mentioned before, we lost a beloved classmate the fall of our freshman year. I did not have the pleasure of knowing Olivia well, but many of you all did, and she deserves to be remembered today. There are countless stories shared about how Olivia positively impacts so many and how she continues to hold people together. When I was writing my speech, I spoke to one of Olivia's best friends, and I wanted to mention something specific she had said. She said that Olivia always spoke positively and never held grudges against people. She said that Olivia definitely lived her life in the moment. I want all of us to remember this today. Remember to live in the moment, just like Olivia. So be present in the moments of today. Remember the small things like who you're sitting by and what the building looks like. After all, walking across this stage, surrounded by your family, friends, and the faculty that have gotten you to this moment only happens once, and you should take it all in. This is the last time that all of us will be together. It is both a celebration of our accomplishment and a bittersweet goodbye to our class and our time at Collins. Don't get caught up in what happens tomorrow, the next day, or the next. Be present in every moment. Don't blink and miss something. And wherever life takes you after you leave the doors of this building, be sure to be present in those moments too. Now that I'm at the end of my speech, I just wanted to say thank you all for listening to me. I hope that what I had to say was worthwhile. Finally, as I said before, take one last look around and take it all in. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you. At this time, Collins Choir Seniors, I would like to invite you to the podium or to the risers to sing the song entitled Set Me as a Seal.
Graduates, each of you has already left Collins High School for the last time as a student. And though I do firmly believe that we are stronger together than we can ever be apart, today we must part ways. This group will not likely be together again as a whole class, and that's okay. You're ready to go on to bigger and better things, but I'd like to take a minute to show where you're headed next as a group. If you plan to join the military, please stand now and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. If you plan to go directly into the workforce and start a career, please stand now and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. If you plan to continue your education in college or technical school, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. Regardless of what your next step is, I know that you are ready. This is truly a remarkable group. As a class, this group has earned over $3.1 million in scholarships towards further studies. And today, they have fulfilled the mission of Martha Lane Collins High School, which is, I don't know if you guys knew this, to graduate every student, college, and or career ready through positive collaboration systems of support and a commitment to excellence for all. They are going to make us proud. At this time, I would like to invite our superintendent, Dr. Sally Sugg, to the podium for the conferring of diplomas. And now, on behalf of the Shelby County Board of Education, I will confer diplomas to those students who have satisfactorily completed the coursework set forth by the faculty and staff of Martha Lane Collins. It is my pleasure to announce that these students have successfully achieved the academic standards established by the Great Commonwealth of Kentucky and the Shelby County Board of Education, and you are life ready. Some have demonstrated readiness by meeting transition readiness benchmarks, while others of you have demonstrated readiness through projects and life experiences. As with all graduating classes, the class of 2023 will go in different directions. Some have certifications and are ready to join the workforce. Others will serve our country in the military. Thank you. While others will continue their education at a college or university. Above all else, this collection of outstanding young men and women has demonstrated the readiness skills necessary to be productive citizens and to serve others. Class of 2023, you have made your mark in defining what it means to be a titan by leaving a legacy of leadership, service, and academic success. Thank you for blazing a path of hard work, determination, commitment, and success in which others can follow. Row one, please rise and approach the stage. Lucky Marie Abbott. Ella Brooke Adams, cum laude. Elliot Earl Adkins, cum laude. Maxwell Kenneth Adkins. Aiden Francisco Alba. Anthony Cooper Aldridge. Matthew Levi Alexander. Magna Cum Laude. Garrett William Antle. Elsa Lynn Aragon. Valerie Trenet Caprice Ashby. 
Sophia Marie Atherton, cum laude. Roberto Avila Pena. Jasmine Melissa Ayala. Caleb Samuel Jack Bailey, magna cum laude. Trace Woodruff Barcelona. And yellow, Jose Barco Rodriguez. Makaira Ayana Beach, cum laude. Tristan Matthew Beagle. Clara Grace Bell. Drew Anthony Bennett, cum laude. Grace Aaron Berge, cum laude. Kevin Thomas Billings. Victor Manuel Osorio Sapan. Anaya Heaven Bishop. Lanaya Rain Bishop. Brinley Lynn Blair, cum laude. Seth William Bohannon, cum laude. Kylie Marie Baum. Abner Anluca Bonilla, cum laude. Jamie Catherine Brake, cum laude. Jaden Emily Brake, cum laude. Ethan Nolan Bryant. Mackenzie Joe Bergen. Braden Hunter Burkhead. Ashton Elijah Burnett. Lily Catherine Calvert, summa cum laude. Kenna Rayanne Canterbury, cum laude. Donovan Lee Carroll, magna cum laude. Deja Corlise Carson. Gabrielle Alexis Carter, cum laude. Tyler Joseph Case, cum laude. Jason Cassia, cum laude. Samuel Castro. Miguel Castro. Brian Castro Sanchez. Ali Miranda Channel. Sandra Chavez Sick. Braden Dyer Chisholm. Alina May. Tyler Wayne Clark. Elizabeth Ann Klein, summa cum laude. Samuel Carter Colbert. Cadence Nicole Collins, cum laude. Dylan Collins. Joshua Highlander Conley, magna cum laude. Catlin May Konzelman, summa cum laude. Kendra Copeland. Chloe Danielle Cornell. Judith Coronado Hernandez, cum laude. Brooklyn Lachey Craycraft, cum laude. Nevea Joshe Crittenden. Faith Elizabeth DeShelley Legrand, magna cum laude. Kaylin Nicole Daly, summa cum laude. Olivia Grace Daly, magna cum laude. Damon Lee Beckham, Jr. 
Juanita Antonia De Dios, cum laude. Brooklyn Jasmine De La Cruz Dominguez, cum laude. Luis De Leon Andres. Yancy Galindo De Leon Aguilar. Joseph Robert Dickerson. Sarah Marie Dodd, cum laude. Arthur Rafael Dominguez. Reagan Michelle Douthit. Bryson James Dunsmore, summa cum laude. Taylor Thomas Elam. Daniel Macaulay Elmore. Hanaro Escobar. Milvia Davila Osorio. Mackenzie Renee Eubank. Darius Keyshawn Evans. Amelia Rain Fisher, magna cum laude. Ethan Gonzalez Flores, cum laude. Kylie Michelle Fortune, cum laude. Peyton Edward Frick. Jessica Carly Gaddy Cooper. Luis Alberto Garrido Nava. Aubrey Lynn Gehring. Nicholas Anthony Georges. Regan Lee Giles, cum laude. Kennedy Margaret Gill. Aaliyah Cheyenne Gillerith. Harley Jewel Gonzalez Nelson. Kenyon Martez Gooden, magna cum laude. Nathaniel Christopher Goodman. Emma Grace Green, cum laude. Catherine Clark Gregory, cum laude. Veronica Catherine Hamilton, summa cum laude. Damian Matthew Haithcock Jackson. Avery Martell Hellman. Elizabeth M. Hang, summa cum laude. Alexander Sigurun Hernandez. Avaya. Shalia Hernandez, cum laude. Hernan Hernandez Kalel. Aristelzi Anthenia, Anthenia Hernandez Gonzalez. Jeanette Hernandez Lopez. Bernie Hernandez Lucas. Sherlyn Hernandez Montoya. Evelyn Heidi Hetrick. Athian James Higgins. Isabella Grace Higgins, summa cum laude. Austin Connor Hickson. Charles Thomas Hogg III, cum laude. Harper Mason Holland, cum laude. Zoe Adeline House. Benjamin Leonard Hughes. Cassidy Jade Human, cum laude. Jaden Allen Hungerland. Ethan Conover Hutchins, cum laude. Isaiah Rayon Jackson. 
Quinn Patrick Jackson, magna cum laude. Jackson Lily Jasper, summa cum laude. David Jimenez, Jr. Charlea Keshawn Johnson. Christiana Marie Johnson. Micah David Johnson. Enaje Kares Jones. Cecilia Marie Jones, summa cum laude. Caden Wayne Keenan Davis. Ashton Ethan Keys. Maria Grace Killeen. Hunter Chase Kluge, Richard Landero Liavano, Tucker Court Laba, Cameron Renee Laws, Kia Addis Ledford, cum laude. Kobe Abel Ledford, cum laude. Alexis Giovanni Lemus. Alejandro Leon Perez. Jeb Andrew Leonberger, cum laude. Emmy Ryan Libke, magna cum laude. Edwin Lopez. Peyton Reed Lorinet. Grace Irene Love. Sydney Elena Lurson, cum laude. Isaac Madrid. Josue Caleb Maldonado. Thomas Jefferson Mateo Martinez, cum laude. Mariah Elizabeth Merquin. Andrew Philip Mazarakis. Hunter Riley McAllister. Vanessa Naomi McCarter. Emily Rose McDaniel, cum laude. Landon Stephen James McHenry. Sean Patrick McLaughlin, cum laude. Crystal Marie Minkin. Jonah Cecil Milby. Camille Emma Jean Mitchell. Kamarion Mitchell Ladd. Eden Rose Montgomery. Autumn Jade Mormon. Michaela Ann Garrett. Brooklyn Elizabeth Morris, summa cum laude. Jonathan Blake Vincent Morrison. Hennessy's Munoz, Robert Austin Murphy, Olivia Danielle Nally, magna cum laude, Ruby Navarro, Janessa Louise Newman, cum laude, Devlin Anthony Norris. Jocelyn Olvera Lira. 
Rylan James Palmer. Trace Andrew Parsons Judd. Jacqueline Marina Pena Perez, cum laude. Kara Nicole Pennington, cum laude. Kevin Alex Perez Angel. Zachary Slayton Perry. Nathan Warren Otto Peterson. Jayla Brooke Petty. Amy Claire Pierce, magna cum laude. David Porter. Isabel Ray Potter, cum laude. Connor Wilson Price. Abigail Lindsay Quinn, cum laude. Wilson Ramirez Lopez. Hiromi Ramos, cum laude. Norberto Ramos Gomez. Joseph Wyatt Rankin. Adalberto Reyes. Lily Grace Roadcap, cum laude. Connor Shane Roberts. Grace Arden Roberts. Ezell Robinson IV. Ashley Dariella Rodriguez. Harley Rodriguez Palma. Anderson Lee Rodriguez. Jacob Morgan Rowe, magna cum laude. Bradley Dean Rubel, cum laude. Rose McRae Sagasser. Sherlyn Carmina Samoyo Herrera, cum laude. Nathaniel Luis Sanchez. Gregory Alexander Sanders. Mar Marissa Elizabeth San Gabriel. Savannah Nicole Sauls. Brianna Hope Shearer. Jordan Ethan Scholl. Jacob Paul Scriber. Jana Ruthann Seymour. Miranda Marie Shepherd, cum laude. Levi Allen Schultz. Andy Yulia Sigaron Garcia. Quentin Lamar Simmons II. Gabriel Joseph Gerardo Sison, cum laude. Jonathan Wesley Scow. Spencer Antoine Smart. Isaiah Brandon Sparks. Jorge Luis Sosa Trujillo. Alea Lanikai Stein, cum laude. Lindsay Marie Stone. Ethan Shane Souter, cum laude. Ellen Rose Swenson, summa cum laude. Maggie Jean Swenson. Ryan Matthew Tata Tata. Fabian Tapia Orozco. Malachi Jeremy Taylor. 
Lacey Lee Thomas. Dalton J. Thompson. Sean Lifante Thompson, Jr. Zachariah Caden Thompson. Ontaria Lee Tran, cum laude. Kimberly Trejo Moreno, cum laude. Joshua Anthony Sock Chavez. Wilbert Soy Soy. August Joseph Vandevelde. Kevin Velasquez Roblero. Yoandre Veloso Barcelo. Brandon Villa. Giselle Coralina Villa. Dalton Chase Vogt. Zachary Kenneth Wadsworth, magna cum laude. Ashlyn Brianne Waite McGurk, magna cum laude. Damon Alexander Waits. Stella Marie Wakeman, magna cum laude. Jackson Alexander Ware. Reagan Ann Webb, cum laude. Lillian Louise Wareheim. Kennedy Reese Welch. Haley Elizabeth Wheeler, cum laude. Jaquay Thomas White. William Grayson Whitfield. Luke Thomas Wittet. David Tyler Williams. Kiera Denise Williams. Michaela Shantez Wilson, cum laude. Isaac Christopher Witzel. Carolina Zarco Sosa. Piper Madison Monroe. Lauren Claire Rimpey, cum laude. Nancy Gail Yonker. Dylan De La Cruz Alonso. Angel Naun Briones Chirinos. Jacob Malachi Daniels. Yamalith Guardia Ortiz. Nathan Glenn, Glenn Van Meter. Alira Nairi Lene Hayes. Somi Morales Perez. I'd like to take a moment to recognize the great accomplishment of the people that did not just walk across this stage, the parents. Graduates, let's give your parents a round of applause right now. They put a lot of work. <laughs> we appreciate your partnership. We know you all deserve much more than that applause. And parents, we know that getting your babies to this point was not easy, and here they are, your babies, are young men and women graduating from high school. Congratulations to all of you for your hard work realized in this accomplishment. <clears throat> and I wanna let you parents know that if you've been pushed away to arm's length or maybe have been treated as if you don't know anything these days, 
That's not going away just yet, guys, but soon. Somewhere in early 20s, uh, usually around 22, 23, brain development and life experience start to put some things in perspective and suddenly mom and dad know a lot more than they ever did. I can tell you guys that my parents have gotten smarter every single year since I graduated from college. They're the first place I turn to for wisdom. Parents, keep supporting your kids, whatever that may look like for you, but make sure that you leave them room to learn for themselves. They are more than capable. To the graduates, people are gonna ask you guys, what does it feel like to have graduated from high school? And, and for me, it's a lot like just about every birthday from the time you were six on where they say, what's it feel like to be seven? What's it feel like to be 17? And to tell the truth, it doesn't feel a whole lot different than the day before. And to graduate high school may not feel a whole lot different, but it is different because that piece of paper, that diploma, unlocks a lot of doors to whatever those next steps are for you and for the rest of your life. And whether you ever had any doubt that you would graduate from high school, some of you knew from day one, I got this. Others of you finished literally yesterday, made us sweat. <laughs> I know that this accomplish, accomplishment is something that you all need to be proud of. A lot of work and long days, whether you were working ahead or falling behind, a lot of work went into earning that diploma. And I want to encourage all of you graduates on just one piece of our profile of a graduate. Be a lifelong learner. Hopefully by now you know well in what way you learn best. Maybe you're a reader. Maybe you're a video tutorial person. Whatever it is, maybe you're a life experience person. Whatever it is for you, never stop learning. Guys, learn from your mistakes. Uh, those are never going to go away. But I tell you what, I believe the biggest difference in mistakes between a, a kid and a, an adult is that uh, an adult takes ownership of their mistakes, learns something, and tries to do better next time. So guys, be lifelong learners. Go and make us proud. At this time, I ask board chairperson, Mrs. Sonia Blackburn, to join me at the podium. <laughs> Mrs. Blackburn, please know that this class understands that they graduate with the expectation of becoming productive citizens in whatever community they reside. Furthermore, they understand that they represent Martha Lane Collins High School in all of Shelby County in doing so. Having received a diploma signifying them as a graduate, I deem them as such, a member of the Martha Lane Collins High School graduating class of 2023. Congratulations, seniors. Your final act as a high school student will be a timed honor transition. Together, we will move your tassels from the right to the left. And now, by the authority vested in me and by Kentucky Department of Education, I ask that you move your tassels from the right to the left. You are now graduates of Martha Lane Collins High School. In just a moment, in just a moment, gentlemen, you will recess from this ceremony to meet your advisor backstage where you can pick up your specific diploma. I ask that as you make your way there, graduates that you be, wait for it, safe, respectful, and responsible, and do it the Titan way. You can meet up with your families afterwards out on the concourse for all the pictures and please, all of the hugs. Please stand together now. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you as high school graduates, the class of 2023.